It is very important for gymnasts to stretch in this sport because the skills we have to do require a big, exaggerated, almost crazy range of motion that we need to put our body through, which means you have to properly, safely prepare your body to move through those positions and ranges of motion at high speeds by first stretching in static or more gentle, simple, safe exercises and positions. So for example, you definitely wanna be stretching your splits and have your split at least down on the floor before practicing things like split jumps, right? Because if you expect your legs to come out until your legs are parallel to the floor in this full split at high speeds, you better make sure that you've prepared your body for that position as you're sitting safely on the floor. If we can't quite get your split down on the floor, you're kind of here like, oh, this really hurts, but I really hate stretching, so I don't want to do it. I just want to do my split jumps. When you go for that full split jump, you're trying to force your body into a range of motion, into a position that it is not prepared for. So you're putting yourself at high risk for injury, for pulling or tearing a muscle, breaking a bone. We don't want to injure your body in any way. So stretching statically or dynamically before and after training on rest and recovery days will just help better prepare your body for the crazy ranges of motion that gymnastic skills require. Last but not least, shoulders and upper body, just because it is a very common limitation that I see within new gymnasts coming into the sport. So if you have an upper body limitation to where if I told you lock out your elbows, keep your arms shoulder width apart, and now lift overhead, and you can only lift this far because it's so hard and it's so tight, guess what? If you try to do the correct handstand position, which is a fully open shoulder vertical position where your whole body is stacked in a straight line, you're gonna struggle because you won't be able to fully open up those shoulders, getting your body completely positioned over your hands in a safe straight vertical line, which means number one, your handstands are way harder than they need to be. And number two, you're again just putting yourself at risk for injury because you're training the handstand incorrectly and in an unsafe manner. You're not quite ready to train a safe and correct handstand yet. We've got to work on that upper body mobility. So I bring that up again because it's probably the most common limitation I see. So make sure you're stretching consistently. That's how you see the best progress in this area of gymnastics and don't neglect it. Yeah, nobody likes it, but you should do it anyway.